Have you ever felt tired while driving? Angry at the person that just cut you off? Or simply bored of sitting in bumper to bumper traffic? Unfortunately, many of us have, and that's really bad news for our driving habits. Being tired, angry, or bored significantly reduces our ability to drive safely. Things get even worse when you consider how easily we get distracted by someone in the passenger seat or the latest tweet on our smartphone. In fact, the US Department of Transportation estimates that 94% of all traffic-related incidents in the US are a result of human error, contributing to the 1.2 million traffic-related deaths that occur worldwide each year. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was designing a system and I found that one of my components was contributing to 94% of my errors, I'd try to get rid of it. And that's precisely what my research aims to do, remove the driver from the equation. By removing the driver, not only are we making the road safer, but we're giving the opportunity for people who wouldn't normally be able to drive by themselves, such as the elderly or the visually impaired, the ability to get where they need to go without giving up their independence. For the driverless car to operate safely, it's constantly monitoring the world around it. To the untrained eye, what the vehicle sees is simply a mishmash of points, colors, lines, and blocks. But to the driverless car, these are the details of the profoundly complex world in which it's navigating. Using sensors such as GPS, cameras, sonar, and LIDAR, the vehicle is not only able to figure out where it is in its own lane, but it can also detect things like traffic signs, stoplights, pedestrians, and other cars, up to distances of two football fields away. Now, while all of this sounds great, the issue with the currently existing technology is that the cameras on the car must remain static while it's driving. Since the cameras can't move, the vehicle may find itself in a situation where the navigation algorithm fails because one of the cameras is blocked or is looking at part of the environment where there's insufficient information to perform motion estimation. This limitation is akin to somebody asking you to perform a complex task such as playing basketball, soccer, or hockey while keeping your head perfectly still. We as humans move our eyes and our heads around and track the most persistent and strong parts of the environment. So why not the driverless car? Well, that's where I come in. My research focuses on enabling dynamic camera clusters, which allows the car to reconfigure and shift its sensors in real time on the fly while it's driving. I'm applying elements of information theory, which is the theory used to build all of our modern communication networks in order to determine how the car should reconfigure its sensors and get the maximum amount of information from its environment. This technology will help the millions of driverless cars that are about to hit our roads perform more safely and reliably. Thank you.